Good morning, you guys, and welcome to Yard Sale Saturday. If you're new here, welcome. This is a channel all about reselling online. So we're going to hit up some yard sales. We're going to find some undervalued items and hopefully flip them online on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, and Etsy for a profit. This is what I do full time. And on this channel, I like to share all of the items that I pick up the journey. So you get to come along with me actually picking up these items at yard sales. And of course, I like to put out some videos as well, showing you guys exactly what has sold. So you can see how much profit I actually make from these items. Real quick though, before we head out of the door and hit up these yard sales, I'm going to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Vendu. Vendu is a long-term sponsor of this channel. I swear by them. I pay out of pocket for this service because I think they are that good and that valuable as a reseller. Essentially, Vendu is a cross-posting software. So for example, here is how it goes for me on a daily basis. I list on eBay first, usually from the couch, under a blanket, all cozy and all that. And then I hop onto Vendu on my desktop and I import all of that information from that listing into Vendu and then I push it out to all my other platforms that I mentioned to you at the beginning of this video, which are Poshmark, Etsy and Macau. Vendu does support way more platforms than that, including places like Facebook Marketplace, but that's just not where I'm at right now. I got a lot of plate spinning. <laughs> so everything comes through from that initial listing. We're talking photographs, dimensions and weight, description, title, everything that you need to construct a brand new listing on a brand new platform super, super quick. I also opt into their delist and relist feature because that means when something sells on one of those four platforms, I can hop straight onto Vendu and take it down off of all of the other platforms with like just one click rather than going to each individual one and making sure it is unlisted now. So nobody accidentally buys one of my one-off items on two different platforms and then I am left in a pickle. Vendu has also recently launched their app as well, which I've kind of been playing with. I do like it. I like being able to have it on the go. I still use the desktop primarily just because that's part of my workflow and how I like to do it with my kids around the house. But I appreciate the fact that there is an app and honestly, it's getting better every single week as they tune it up, which is really cool. All that to say, if this sounds interesting to you and your reseller business, I'm going to go ahead and leave an affiliate link down below. It gives you a pretty sweet deal of 25% off your first month. If you're looking for a super fast and easy way to cross list and get your items in front of a much wider audience and therefore selling quicker, now might be the time to give Vendu a go. All right, you guys, without further ado, let's hit some yard sales. All right, so it's no secret that I love my vintage collegiate wear. That stuff sells so well for me, especially come fall time. Unfortunately, this piece, which is a Tennessee Vols piece, it just had too much wear to it. It was made in Korea. Um, it was an older piece. It didn't have any standout graphics. So that kind of made me look twice at it because of the few small marks it had on it. And I ultimately decided to leave this one behind. But always keep your eyes peeled, especially for those wonderful bright graphics for vintage collegiate items. They can do really well. Do you know how much the sweater is? She'll be here. In She'll be in a minute. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Day. No worries. You better get up here and do your job. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then a guy came and got a oh shit came and got a shelf from me that I had all these movies on. Okay, so. <laughs> I'll put you there. Can I ask how much your sweater is? Um, two dollars. Okay, thank you very much. And how about okay. the little girls' dresses that are hanging up, the older ones? Um, um two dollars piece. Okay, um, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, they are the older ones. Yeah, they're they beautiful. Are my, uh, they were my daughters. Oh my goodness. And she's uh, forty. Oh wow. <laughs> They're beautiful. Yeah, today's the last day, and just ask about anything. Um, we'll, we'll Thank you. <laughs> Aren't they nice? Oh, they're so cute. I don't have one of those. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> I'm going to pop these on top as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank and be you. Be careful because if you were holding it from the top, the lid it comes off good. Yep, yeah. thank you. I think I'm ready. I think you're ready. I think so. I think it's 18. Alrighty. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Good luck with the move. Thank you. Hope it goes smoothly. <laughs> 
Do you want to put this down in with that? Yeah, yes. that would be perfect, actually. Yes. A little extra padding. Anyway. Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you ever so much. Yeah, thank you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> the kids shoes uh, five dollars on the food okay um a dollar on the little spray slides and a dollar on the others thank you um i'll take ten dollars for all of them they actually fit inside each other as well Could I ask about your, your dress and your wallet? <laughs> and, um, the wallet I'll take two for, okay. and the dress I'll take five for. It's okay. brand new. Oh, okay, Both cool. of them actually are brand new. I've never been used. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> do you have change for a 10 by chance? I do. Thank you very much. And would you like your hanger back? Uh, please. There you go. <laughs> Did I tell you? What did I tell you on that? It said five and two. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You. Have, Have a great day. Hi, how are you? Very good, thanks. Yes, oh, I have them right here, sorry. <laughs> I was wondering how much you were asking for well, I them. them 20 oh, okay. Because I've never, they've never been worn. Got you, no worries, thank you. I got three pairs. Yeah. A pair of tan and a pair of navy. Yep. But I've never worn these flat ones. I totally understand, thank you very much. I appreciate you coming out to check them. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Couple of prices with yes. you. Uh, the ones on these are a dollar, but okay. this is fifty cents. Oh, okay. Thank you. What about this one? A dollar. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much.
Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I know that. She won't wear it. Yeah. How much is the candle holder? Just two dollars. Oh, cool. Thank you. These are neat. It's a whole set. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the little swizzle sticks. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Are they older as well? Oh, I don't know. I don't think they're that old. Oh, I'm jumping in and editing to say that these were probably a mistake to leave behind. I think I could have sold just the swizzle sticks alone for about $15 to $16. Um, and then the glasses, I really couldn't find any listed, but similar things with that kind of mid-century modern look to them were actually doing fairly well. So I probably should have scooped them up. Oh, well, I will know for next time. what I found is that okay <laughs> thank you these and then I found she said it was two dollars total for these clothes and then I found this as well oh sorry 250 for these okay thank you very much Thank you. No, 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 it's fine. Thank you. <laughs> Are you visiting? No, I live here now. Where are you from? England originally. Uh, I've been here by 11 years, so I still have the accent. <laughs> do you still talk to family up north? Uh, I do, yes. That's the reason why you keep it. I think so. People tell Thank me. You very much. Are you from up north? Because yeah. I'm originally from Chicago. Yeah. So if I talk to people, my family in there, yeah. they say, like, you're not from here. Keep always. it going, yeah. That's the reason why my you family, keep here. My family tell me I'm losing it a little bit, but we'll see. <laughs> Thank you all very much. All right, you guys, welcome to the haul where I show you what I picked up at today's yard sale. So let's start right here. Um, this was a moving sale and I got a variety of things. Um, I did also get a nativity set as well, but that was a personal buy. So that's on my shelf already ready for Christmas. But just in case you saw it in the video, I did go ahead and grab that for five dollars. OK, so let's start with these absolutely adorable vintage like little kids uh, outfits. Comes with little matching bloomers. Oh my goodness, I can't even. Very, very Christmassy. I think they were $2 a piece, but they were just too darn cute to pick up. And vintage kids clothing, if it's the right style, can do really, really nicely. It's got that one. I've got this one as well with the matching pants. It does have a little bit of staining here that I'm going to have to try and get out. But for $2, I figured I would try. Oh my goodness, little like candy cane striped apron one with a little Peter Pan collar so darn cute and then lastly we have this little one here with the three geese embroidered on the neckline with a little bib as well again we have a few marks here and there nothing bad I'm going to try and just spot clean them by hand but things like this with the embroidered animals have always done really well for me in the past I also got from that uh, yard sale this piece here this is a Ray Dunn piece Mary with the gnome I paid $3 for this one. And even though it has a 999 stick on the back, the last one I believe sold for around 30 to 35 or so. And I couldn't see any listed currently. So I did go ahead and scoop that up too. All right, next from this yard sale, just a couple of items that were brand new, either with the tags or without the tags. This one did not have the tags, but it is brand new. Still has all the bits and pieces inside. And this is a Montana West piece. I actually only just learned about this brand um, a little while ago where they like have their leather goods and stuff. Some of it's hit and miss but for a brand new without the tags purse or wallet and it was two dollars with this cute kind of southwest style to it as well that was a no-brainer and then this item is based purely on style so it's simply southern it's brand new with the tags paid five dollars and it's a women's size small and it's just like a little sort of 
I guess like a mini dress with all this cute trim and stuff. It definitely is kind of reminiscent of Matilda Jane to me with all of the like ruffles and the tearing. But yeah, it has uh, dogs wearing sweaters all over it. You can't go wrong, <laughs> especially with this little beagle friend down here. Uh, so this was an item grabbed purely for the style. Oh, I forgot I got this at the same yard sale that I got like the Ray Dunn piece and the uh, vintage uh, children's clothes um, and this is just for two dollars a free people pea size small and it is a striped sweater dress in almost perfect condition all right and then lastly at this yard sale i was looking at a pair of um clark's shoes they were new in the box and i buy them often like that for around five dollars which is a bargain of course um, and i asked how much they were there and she said how much would you give me I said five. She said, yeah, that sounds good to me. And then she said, well, hang on. I better go check with the lady. Um, and when the lady came back out, she actually wanted 25 for them, which is completely fair. Totally understand, but that's too much for me. Um, so I left those behind, but I did end up finding these items. So we have a Nike Thermofit um, with the nice tall neckline. And then it has all the thumb holes and all that good stuff. And um, this is most likely going to be a piece for me running in the fall and winter and early spring. Or something that I will wear to a race and then shed once I get started and that's the beauty of yard sales i can find items that i can do stuff like that with all the time and they just get redonated afterwards i also got this really cool sweatshirt this is not technically vintage because i think it has 2008 on it somewhere so it's got a few years to go um but it's getting there and it definitely has the look just walt disney world uh hollywood studios there oh 2006 i think it says 2006 but yeah and it even has goofy in his tower of terror bellhop costume oh i love it i i might have to keep this as well i don't know i'll look up the comps but otherwise this might be mine oh and that was a dollar as well and then this one was a bit of a conundrum because um i figured this one would be the most expensive because it's brand new with the tag still just a gap piece size extra large a green 100 percent extra fine merino wool cardigan um and she said no 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 that one's only 50 cents so Okay, that works for me. So 50 cent brand new with the tag uh, Gap Merino Wool Cardigan. And then the two hard goods I got there. Um, I got this vintage piece here. The brand is Copper Craft Guild, I think. That may not even be the brand. That may just be a random sticker that is on there. But um, I did look that up and the pieces seem to do quite well. And this has that kind of hunting horn aesthetic to it. And that can do really nicely, especially with the copper accents too. And then I just couldn't leave this bad boy behind. I'm thinking Peacock. What do we think? We think Peacock. Um, and on the bottom, he is marked 1976 and there is an artist name there as well so again for a dollar just couldn't leave this guy behind all right you guys and that's everything that i picked up at today's yard sales of course as usual if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here and you want to come along with me to more yard sales hunting for cool treasure to flip online for a profit then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification as well so you never miss a video and you never miss a yard sale all right you guys i will catch you in the next one bye